Hello, this is Ambient Flash. In today's tutorial, we're going to add this GTA 5 car into this real life image. I'm taking Magic Eraser. Magic Eraser works when you have like one colored background. And for the rest of the selection, we're using the pen tool. Like I told in the first tutorial, I'm going to make a selection. I'm gonna a little bit speed it up so it doesn't take so much time. Okay, now those are deleted. There's still some spots. We're going to use a magic eraser. Then we're going to take convert smart object and the free transform. We're going to put it in the place we want it to be. Somewhere here in the bridge. Scale the size. I think that's pretty good. So next we're gonna do we're gonna add layer mask. And I'm gonna do a selection to the window because I wanna see a little bit through from this window. So I'm gonna select this area of the window. Now we're selecting brush, we're going to use black color, select the brush size, opacity, lower the opacity a little bit, and brush over, now you can see through the window. So we're going to rasterize layer, we're going to go for levels, and now we're going to click create clipping mask. Now the effect will only go the layer which is below this layer now. So only for the car. Now we're gonna add a little bit of vibrance and saturation. You're gonna play with these settings until you like how it looks. Next we're gonna use a little bit of the burn tool. I'm gonna little bit darken the tires of the car because the tires look a little too bright. Next I'm making a new layer. I'm gonna also use black color. Lower the opacity and paint over the car because the car is a little bit too bright. You always have to check from the background image or what you have. Check the colors, shadows, lights, whatever. And think how the image what you're adding on it would really look next we're adding shadow so take a look at the background image and compare of these shadows so you're gonna click the layer right click blending options and drop shadow Next we're gonna add just the shadow, this is the angle of the shadow, there is also a lot of setting here. Next we're gonna add the distance, and you're gonna test the spread and the size of the shadow. Click OK. Then we're going to layer and right click here you say create layers okay now the shadow is in separate layer below this car layer so what we're gonna do we got a free transform flip vertical 
and we're gonna use this transfer tool. Let's pick a free transfer. Select this start. Take from the corner and add just the shadow into the position. Next we need to paint a little more black the tires because there is some white spots. Just like I did done before. Next time I use the mark you tool, I'm making a selection from the sky. Clicking Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and copy it. Now I'm gonna use the distort tool again. I'm going to add into the car a little bit effect of the sky. Selecting this to the color mode. Next we will drag this layer top of the car. Automatically it transforms into the clipping mask because there is one clipping mask layer already active on this car. So we're gonna a little bit size it. Now we added a layer mask and paint it with the black. Now we're adding a reflection into this car. So we're taking a selection from this background. Doing the same steps with we made with the sky. Now we're gonna select the screen. I'm gonna speed up this process. This is exactly the same with the sky. Now I'm gonna use the free transfer tool and the warp tool. This is very useful tool if you want to bend some images. And now pretty much making a few more changes to the image like I'm gonna add there a little more black on this tires. So now the image is ready and this is how it looks like. I have saved the layer and this is where we started from. This is the rough cutted version of the car. Thanks for watching this tutorial. This was Ambient Flush and see you guys in the next one.